Come and give me apps here at Mall, the number one independent app store. Today we're checking out Cash Predict. This is by Soft Group Technology LLC for the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Guys, this is a different kind of personal finance app. Straight from listening, it says most personal finance apps keep you looking back, only promoting buyer's remorse. Cash Predict keeps you looking ahead with your eyes on your financial future. This app is very unique. In fact, most overviews that we do on this channel, we tend to do our pre-review or pre-overview and screen the app and then we do everything on camera. Uh, we like this app so much that we wanted to show you the process of how to use this app from start to finish. So this is going to be a lengthy review. Now, listen very carefully. This app allows you to insert your accounts, cash, savings, credit, and debt. Schedule your recurrent income expenses and investments. Get alerts when recurrent become due. Mark your recurrent as received, paid, and adjust your account balances to reflect small daily expenses. If you are someone who is saying today, hey, I want to purchase a home, I want to purchase a condo, I want to get a car, whatever your personal finance goals are, this app allows you to do that by looking forward and not looking back. So let's take a look here at the main screen. This is what you see when you start up. Uh, one cool thing is the ads are minimal and you don't need to set up an account. We love that. So you're not worrying so much about security in any way, shape, or form. We're gonna tap on next, see and change your future. We're gonna keep going. Now, one of the cool things is, um, the first thing you need to do is go through a survey, and this app will allow you to do that. Um, it asks you questions about your recurrent expenses. It asks you how much you have in savings, uh, what your balances are, what your debt is. And once you input all that information, you are taken to this screen here, which is kind of a, a readout, a layout of what's going on in your personal life. Now, you set that up when you use the app for the first time. Um, we wanted to go through what you would see when you um, use the app for the first time. We're skipping over that section um, just because we did it. It's a little lengthy, and we wanted to keep this concise. So if you look here, you can see we have the current total balances. We have the actual X budgeted. We have the goals forecast, savings forecast, cash flow forecast, payment forecast, categories forecast, and many more. You can also separate this by month, three months, six months, or a year. You can review it in um, one of those fashions. Now, if you look at the month here, take a look at that, you can see our cash flow forecast, and it's going down. Now, we have these recurrent bills, and we have a certain amount that we receive every single month. It's going to ask you, uh, where are you receiving your income from? You can have several income streams. For example, you might be a freelancer. You may have a steady job. Well, this app will allow you to input all of that. You can see our goals forecast, and my goal was to get a condo. Now, I'm just making this stuff up for the overview, but if you had a similar goal, you would input that here. I want to bring this closer to the screen so you can see it a little better. Uh, if we zoom in here, you can see our cash flow forecast. And take a look at some of those uh, markers that you have cash, credit, and debt. And I put that we had zero debt. Uh, you can see um, our income for December, 12000 our spending, 385 and our balance is right there. Now, again, I made up a lot of these numbers. You can see there it says um, 181615 and on the bottom it's 166830 This is based on my income and expenses. Take a look at the top there. You can see we have our current balances. You see savings. You see um, checking. You see our credit cards and you know our bills, etc. Uh, you can see our goals forecast there. Um, take a look at that. You have December, January. Now, mind you, we're looking at the month, and that's why you see what you see. You have your payment forecast. What's really cool is you have, um, look at that, the second, that's where we are now, 15th, 16th, and 30th. You can see um, we set up our income to be bi-weekly. That's why it says 4000 there. And again, these are just arbitrary numbers. We just made them up for the overview. And you can see what we receive bi-weekly there, saving for the condo, and our cash is what you see there. Um, take a look at our categories forecast. You have your savings and investments, housing and utilities. So this app allows you to set everything up. So if you have your light bill, if you have your gas bill, um, you know, the app actually has this set up. So when you're inputting this information for the first time, um, those categories are already pre-populated. Pre-populated meaning uh, electricity, rent and mortgage. We're talking about those, okay? So that's the month forecast. We can take a look at our three-month forecast here. We have December, January, February, March. This is going into 2023. You can see the graphs expand there. You can see um, what are we going to have saved for our condo. And you can see we have 30000 50000 That's based on our income from freelancing. You can see our emergency savings over there and our balance. So um, you can see that as we go up here from $110,000, uh, you know, by uh, March of 2024, uh, we'll be closer to our goal of $300,000 for a condo. And again, we set those numbers up ourselves here. So um, you have our six-month goal here, and then you have our year goal. And if you notice, 
we're beyond our goal there for the condo. Um, and that's why it says $400,000 if we go um, further into the future there. So I'm bringing this up and down from the camera just so you can see it a little better. Now, all right, so this is what you would see once you input all of your information. What we like is you have these um, wonderful graphs. The interface is intuitive. It's easy to get around. It, the readout is there. Like what you see is what you need to know, and it does a great job displaying this data. Love the graphs. Love the layout here, the, or the readouts rather. You have your balance versus your spending versus your income. Very easy to, um, to figure out. Um, and it lets it gives you the information that you need to know right in front of your face, right there on the main screen. This is what you're seeing once you um, set everything up. So if we look at our calendar here, or rather our budget, you can adjust everything that you put in after you um, take the survey. So if you look here, you have your checking. We can um, you know um, change that. We have our condo. We have our emergency fund right there. We just set a hundred thousand dollars. Again, these are all arbitrary numbers. Now we can add things to add stuff. We simply press the plus icon. That's right here. And once we do that, take a look here. We have our cash. We have our savings, our debt, our credit. So notice that it says right there current situation. Okay, we can put here our cash balance is, let's just make this up, let's say $75,000, okay? We're going to um, delete this here, we're going to put $75,000 in. We're adding this, mind you, this is going to go on top of what we have here. Now you have your notes, you can put notes if you want, and you can enable it for your forecast if you want to do that or not. We can create an account name, let's call this extra savings. I'm going to bring this back down so you can see the entire iPad, and I'm going to write that in there. We're going to put extra savings for the name of this account. Now, we are a little all over the place here um, because things were set up um, prior to the overview that we're doing, uh, but we want to show you how you can edit things and how you can add things, and you know, this app can grow with you. That's the whole point. Uh, you have your cash, you have your savings, all right? Uh, you have your credit. Take a look at that. So the things that we put in, we can adjust there. See, our credit limit of zero, our balance is $75,000. Uh, we can put a credit limit of, let's say, 1000 if we wanted to do that. We can change all of these numbers, and our graphs, our charts will change accordingly. We have, uh, we'll put like $1,000. Take a look here. Our next statement is that date, 12-22, uh, and you know, we have it due on um, January 2nd of 2023. So we can set these to be recurrent if we wanted to do that. Um, now look here. Um, what is our usual spending on the credit card? Let's say it's $500, okay? We'll put that in there. And uh, you have your usual category, credit cards, pay from account, so you can change where it's being paid from. And you know you can have it enabled for forecast. We're not gonna put any notes for now, just because we're already almost eight minutes into this. And listen, when we tend to do the longer ones, the longer overviews, it's because we're excited about the app, all right? And then we have our debt over here. We can change our debt. We tap on the debt tab. Um, you know, we have our current situation, we have our balance, and we have our original. Uh, you know, you can have all that stuff set up. So we're gonna tap on save, and uh, things will change. Okay, we have our recurrent over here. Take a look here, freelancing due today, four thousand dollars. We set that up in our survey, um, so we're gonna receive that four thousand dollars today. Uh, we have our condo. Look at that savings. How much are we going to save for that? We said ten thousand a month. That's what you. That's why you see that there. It says due today. We have our cable. We have our cell phone bill. We set that up earlier. We have our internet. We have our rent and our mortgage. That's why the charts look the way that they do. And of course, um, you know, we can change some of that information. All right. Now take a look at our expense. Uh, you see, it says usual amount right there is one hundred dollars. And we have um, the frequency monthly. Uh, we have the auto pay. We can um, enable that if we want to. Um, so, guys, this is not linked directly to your account, obviously. Um, you know, this is kind of up in the air. But if you're looking to um, chart your potential success and if you want a, a nice readout of um, and manage your expenses, that, I mean, the, the whole point of this is you can look at this data and say, you know what, I need to change this. Or maybe I should try doing this to get some more income. Or what would uh, the outcome be if I save this amount per month? That's how this app works. And again, the idea of not having buyer's remorse and looking backwards, it starts from today and goes forward. Guys, so we were a little over, all over the place here today. This app has so much to offer. We're approaching 10 minutes here. Um, once you go through the survey, which is what you did not see here, the survey will ask um, the information that you see here. It'll ask you... Uh, you know, what are your monthly expenditures? What are you spending it on? What is the frequency of you getting paid? Is it monthly? Is it bi-weekly? Etc. And uh, once you have all that set up, we're going to save it here. 
um, if we go here, uh, you can see that our charts have changed uh, because of the data change. All right, you can see how much we're going to be getting uh, monthly, what our savings looks like. Take a look here. Our balance is seventy eight oh five in the negative at the end of the year, based on our expenses and our income. So, guys, and if we look at our savings forecast, and again, mind you, that's credits we're talking about, and um, you know, of course, because we have the expenditure, guys. This is Cash Predict. We are almost 11 minutes in. This is a great app. If you are someone who um, is setting yourself up for some goals uh, and you want to play around with numbers, and I'm one of those guys, if you're a numbers geek, this app is for you. Do check it out. It is a free install. You do need iOS 15 or greater to run this, so keep that in mind. You can't run this on an older um, operating system. Um, what is Cash Predict not about? It's not about micromanaging your past expenses. It's not about charts and reports showing your past. It's not about torture by remorse. It's not about spying or selling your financial data. That's straight from the listing. Do check it out. Again, this is from Salt Group Technology LLC. A great app, a wonderful app. It The interface is great. The survey in the beginning was amazing because it just got straight to the point and it crunched the numbers and this is what you see. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. Till next time. <music>